Welcome to a new playlist. In all my previous playlists, I only discussed SAP and business process related things. Now I decided to do something new and different. So in this playlist, I will tell you the story of my freelancing experience in the SAP market. How I found the SAP freelancing projects, how I finished the contract, so the legal parts, the contracting parts, how I started the project, how I managed the timesheet, invoicing, conflicts with the customers, and many other different things. Hopefully, this will answer most of your questions on how freelancing works in the SAP market and how to actually find a good opportunity and close a contract because this is the most difficult part. What I will tell you is only my experience. So freelancing projects can be completely different from one another. What I will tell you is only my experience. I have done around six or seven freelancing SAP projects. Most of them were full projects. So I was not doing a temp time uh, task, like working two hours per day or something. No, most of my freelancing experience was a full-time freelancing project on SAP. I have done rollout projects, implementations, and system improvements. So this is the playlist introduction. The next video will be the first video in the playlist, and I will give you an overview of the story. So how the SAP project starts, how the customer realizes they need freelance SAP consultants, then they contact the SAP recruiters, the SAP recruiters find SAP consultants, the SAP consultant is hired, and then at the end of every month, he has to share timesheet, invoice, and then get, gets paid. So I will give you an overview of the story, and then I will go into details of every part of it. I will share with you my experience and different tips and tricks you can do to be sure that you you find a good opportunity and you can close a project successfully. So if you like the idea, don't forget to check the next videos in the playlist. I always leave a link to the full playlist in the more information up there on YouTube. So click on the exclamation mark and then you'll find a link to the full playlist. Also, let me know what do you think about playlists like this one, where I don't discuss technical things, but I discuss things related to the career. If you like the idea, maybe I will create more uh, playlists like this one. I also need a favor. I have been playing with my setup, my video setup for the last 10 videos, I think. So let me know what do you think of this setup? What do you think of the audio quality, the light, the background, and so on? I really appreciate your opinion. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.